Good morning, morning from Ketchikan. Y'all, now we have already been out, had some fun, and got back on the ship. We ran out of time this morning to record yeah. an intro, but... Work got in the way. <laughs> let's just pretend it's morning between us and you, okay? So, good morning, y'all. Good morning. Ooh, I'm ready for breakfast. I need so. coffee. Let's see. We actually had already gotten up, and um, I didn't even record the breakfast buffet or the coffee or anything this morning, but let's talk about our adventure for the day. Yeah. We are in Ketchikan. What is one thing that you can do in Ketchikan that people might not know? You can snorkel. What? From the shore. <laughs> so it's not like from a boat or anything. It's shore snorkeling. So it sure is. Amazing. And they probably have really, really cool sea creatures that you've like never it. seen before. So. I bet they do. We totally don't know what we're in They're for. probably really colorful they and amazing. Oh, wow. Well, let's probably go get off the ship now and learn all about this tour. So you definitely do that. It's Snorkel Alaska, mm -hmm. and it's the Mountain Point Snorkeling Adventure, I believe is the official name. Independent excursion, oh, yeah. not book through the ship, but they do pick you up. Um, at the rain gauge, which yeah. is convenient for all the cruise ships. So they pick you up and drop you off, or you can drive there if you want to. They have instructions for that as well. Dang. Yep. All right, well, let's throw it back and get this party started. Let's do it. Well, they've got drills going on today. Our gangways are on deck A here for a nice little slanty ramp, or deck one if you want to go down some stairs. We have chosen A. Let's climb. We're here at berth three today. Our tour meeting spot is the Liquid Sunshine Gauge. That's the typical meetup spot for independents. Actually, the drops are not so bad right now. So anyway, continuing the stroll. So welcome to the main drag in Ketchikan. I see the old Liquid Sunshine Gauge up ahead. Visitor Center, we're here with Nordam and Luminosa. Majestic Princess is actually also here. Oh my gosh. This is going to be our ride. Look at that cute logo. That's going to look just like D today. So right here by the giant statue and all, we should find our guide. Well, we've just met up with Fred from Snorkel Alaska, and we are hopping on board. D has got to fill out a waiver. <laughs> Don't die. No I'm kidding. So, my name is Fred, and it's my fault you're here today. I am the founder of Snorkeling in Alaska, and I want to say thank you for picking this as one of your tours while you're here in town. It takes the really open-minded, adventurous people to sound, sign up for something as silly sounding as Snorkeling in Alaska. Uh, and it's very clear. We've got about 30 feet of visibility because we've had such cold, rainy weather. That makes our waters clearer than hot sunshine and plankton and algae. So, it should be really nice. So, I'm going to get these waivers out of your hair. Made it here to the shop officially, only about four miles from town. We won't be taking care of the water today, so if you have any questions or issues on anything, give us a holler over here to help you out. So, more stuff up there, mask, clothes, pens. All your personal stuff will be right here, y'all, until we get back. Any shoes, clothes, towels, anything needs to stay dry. Now, phase one is to get everybody sized up for boots, wetsuits, and all that stuff. They do have hot chocolate machines, hot water for tea and coffee over here, drinking water. Nice. We're going to let Dee get all suited up and we'll see you when you come out. <laughs> yeah, that'll be lovely. <laughs> so we're here at Old Dairy Road. Once everybody gets suited up, we're going to load into what I believe he called the Snorkel Wet Bus, which is a different vehicle than we came here in. Roll over. It's about a mile to the site. I think they said this is the second tour of the day. And the morning tour, they had really clear water, good visibility. I think it said 30 feet of visibility. So it's looking promising. Whoa, it's time for a fashion show. This is amazing. Call me Aqua Woman. Yes, indeed. That was a workout. <laughs> but they do have every size and you know shape availability and height wise and things like that. So and I got into it pretty quickly. Yeah. So I can't put my arms together <laughs> like Randy for the Christmas story. But fun fact, these are wetsuits, not dry suits. They're and so very, very thick. And yeah. I'm ready for cold water right now. It is boiling. Yeah, it's, it gets in there with you, but that's what kind of helps keep you warm. But you can move. Oh, there you go. Get, dancing with D in a dry, oh, no, wetsuit. That's I'm sure this is super flattering. All right. All right. It's good Sphinx. That's true. All right. Time to head to the equipment truck and get fitted for a mask. Uh-oh. There is where you receive your gear. 
And do a little more dancing. And fins. Lovely blue fins. Mask, gloves. Yeah. Broom, broom. Bus is going by. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Hit them up, move them out. Welcome to the wet bus. Oh, As I mentioned, it was beautiful this morning. It should be this afternoon. So we'll see you again. We'll get your defog in there, perfect. There we now we've arrived at the Mountain Point right snorkeling location. And now begins the hike down to the beach. They said just be careful getting in and out of the water at the beach because there's slippery seaweed and stuff like that. But we've got just a little bit of a trail to go down here. They have down to the beach and they say they use the term beach very loosely. It's pretty much rocks and water. Yeah, once you get down the rock pile, and just take a little stroll out in this direction. It can be about a 20, 24 foot change. Oh, we're here at a low tide. A lot of water movement coming in and out. That's going to mark our entry and exit point. We're going to be in through this gap, out through this gap. Again, it's going to be the water's going to keep rising the entire time we're out here. Now down to the access point. Bye! So they're going to spend about an hour in the water. I'm going to stay up here and enjoy all these views but they've got weight belts because of these suits apparently are extremely buoyant. Um, those are optional, doesn't look like, well, a couple people might have grabbed a weight belt. Now I get the nature watch. They said, you know, I might see a whale out here or something. I'm just gonna keep my eyes peeled, see what nature I can see and turn the real adventure over to Snorkel D. You gotta get fins on, and then of course you gotta make sure everything is layered under or over the suit appropriately. Masks on. If you do need to take a break and you can't touch the bottom or there's a bunch of urchins or whatever, just spit your snorkel out of your mouth and lay on your back like this. Oh yeah, it's like a giant water vest. You can float for days out here like that. And everybody should float very comfortably, even if we gave you a weight belt. They have barely set foot in the water, and I'm hearing them talk about starfish, crabs, jellyfish, which apparently the clear ones are fine, just don't touch the reddish ones. I think I heard them say sea cucumber. Y'all snorkeling in Alaska. Who knew? Now, they did say that while walking around here up on the rocks, you might encounter wildlife things on your own. You could find maybe sea stars under the rocks because this whole area gets covered with water in high tide. There's a suspicious looking friend underneath this rock that I'm not quite sure what it is. Now, this looks a little weird because I've played around with the brightness on the camera so we can see under that rock, but there is a purple critter that looks very glisteny and long and I'm thinking are you an octopus are you some sort of stretched out sea star I don't know I'm gonna keep an eye on it and see if it moves I also keep seeing little squirts of water down here in the rocks I think that they said that is some sort of a mollusk that you can see that's you know just under the surface and they'll do that little water gun squirty activity every so often y'all land snorkeling who knew it was a thing just come here at low tide and land snorkel in the little Tide pool residuals. Guy 
guys, uh, uh, what do they feed on? They see how they can't clam muscles of barnacles. Hey, Fred. I saw a red Jimmy fish that thing. Oh, that's a girl. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, wow. so sea shark. Uh, they are part of what we call the Oh, it's a mama. They are the range of so the gang has entered the water here at the red marker. Looks like the path is going to take them around to the left. It's really shallow here, obviously, right at the beach, but they said there are going to be some places that they're over their head, because they were talking about 30-foot visibility, which is awesome. They said the area over here kind of to the right as you're standing on the beach near this other tower, that is a little bit deep and there's not much to see, so you don't go over toward that tower, but looks like this area out here to the left they're going to complete their giant loop and then come on back up here. Oh gosh, I'm looking at them and seeing eagles. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, there's one on the top of that tree. There's something about just standing here in the silence. It's interrupted only by the occasional passing car. You can hear these little mollusks spitting in the rocks beside you, which is fun. I think my friend over there have determined it's one of those purple sea stars, but I'll ask for the expert opinions when they get back. Seeing eagles fly by, planes fly overhead, boats go by. Yo, this is why we love Alaska. I know I didn't get in the water and do all that snorkeling because I'm um, putting a wetsuit on this. No thank you. But they had a great range of sizes, the shoe sizes and all of that. So I'm going to stand here and enjoy this. I'll let you know if I see any other fun critters. I don't think I can see the eagle in the top of that tree with this camera, but I'll give it a try. Actually, the funny thing is I see an eagle at each of the top of those two trees in the middle of the screen right now. There's a little eagle sitting up there on the left-hand side, eagle sitting on the right-hand side, just living their best lives, just like me. They're probably feeling like a clam muscle of What they do is they get a clam muscle and they have two stomachs that Side note, another thing that attracted us to this tour is that they allow ride-alongs at no charge because I was not going to be snorkeling today. They said, sure, you can just accompany. They left a chair out for me, which was very nice. I'm just going to throw our little dry bag in there and continue looking for nature, but that was super nice. But yeah, we only had to actually buy the ticket for D. And I think we were a group of about nine today. I'm the only ride-along. I'm the only one not going in, but that just means I get this glorious beach to myself. So instead of being in the water, spinning. I get to be on land, enjoying the breeze and the nature, spinning while Dee snorkels. Hmm. But the rains have kind of lightened up. I know we had about, a, I think, a 60% chance of rain today, which is pretty good for Ketchikan. I was say, Ketchikan is the rain capital of the area, at least. Maybe rain capital of the world? Hmm. That might be too much. You know, keep your eyes out for any of these little mollusks that might be deciding to spit. Funny how clearly you can hear them when, well, when there's not a boat or a car going by. Are they more of a nocturnal snail? We don't really find a lot of them out here in the daytime. So if you hold it underwater and then put your camera underwater, that'll magnify it nice. And make the colors really pop. Maybe they're called sea urchins and they're found in all bodies of water. So this is the practice pool. We're going out to the real thing now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Come all the way back to the edge now to kind of get a perspective on this beach because I guess the area where I am sitting, I'm currently sitting on a rock, um, is part of what would normally be underwater. You see all this seaweed and all this stuff out here. Like when the tide gets up high, I guess it pretty much covers this whole area, including that cute little blue chair that they set up for me. Got some fisher people showed up doing some fishing. Yeah. I see the group way out there in the distance, those little uh, speckles, those little ants swimming in the water out there. Mm-hmm. Here comes some of the group rounding the point now. There's the rest of the group catching up. So now that they've made it this far, they give a little bit of free time to just snorkel willy-nilly wherever you please. In, in the approved zones, that is. So we got lots of huge sea urchins out there. You got red ones, you got purple ones. Wow. We also got some smaller green sea urchins. And these guys feed on kelp. So all the different plant life, they're vegetarians. Uh, members of the echinoderm family. Echino means spiny, derm means skin. So obviously these guys are pretty spiny. And uh, they just crawl across the bottom, foraging for food. Live to be about 35 years of age. Pretty amazing. He brought those up special for us to look at. That's cool. Well, the tides come up like almost three feet from where we started. Three foot tide change since they went in. I've emerged from the water. <laughs> she emerges triumphant and victorious. Warm, so oh, so you did not freeze. No, just your face is a little bit cold, but it's not bad. Nice. Well, the next phase is wander back up to the wet bus, head back to the shop, and then take these suckers off. I can't wait for you guys to see the footage, but you will have already seen it. That's true. But let me know if you thought it was great, because it was <laughs> gorgeous. Turn everything back into the truck. So this is a special treat when you're done. It's called the hot tub before you get into the shower. Nice. It's warm water that you pour directly down the It's like a water bed. Warm you up quick. <laughs> See, she's That's like, so I know, it's a strange sensation actually, but it feels good. Yeah, they do have the warm showers back at the office there, so, but this is just a temporary fix until they can get you there. All aboard. Time to unbecome a superhero, like Catwoman, Black Widow. 
Well, there is the warm shower situation here on the back of the building. They got, I guess, soapy shampoo stuff and everything. Well, Dee is back to her normal civilian non-snarkling clothes. I feel 100 pounds lighter. <laughs> well, you have earned some hot chocolate, I gotta say. <laughs> back to the ride. Uh, all right, they dropped us off right back here at the rain gauge. It has started raining again. Um, actually, ship drop-off was an option. Creek Street drop-off was an option. But we said, you know what? We can hoof it back from the old liquid sunshine gauge. So we are berth three over here to the left. Majestic Princess is at berth four. Well, it looks like they've closed down the deck one gangway up there. All right, let's do the old deck A here. Much less of a slope, nice little ramp. Welcome home. Deck seven, Rotterdam deck. <sighs> All right, wardrobe change. We are ready for some snackages now. Ooh, they're doing something on the Lido deck they're calling the Old Fashioned Ice Cream Social. That sounds fun. Curious to see. Holy lines, everybody is excited as we are for ice cream. Ah, uh, we've got cookies at the beginning. Looks like they're doing assisted service with your ice creams, self-service with your toppings. Oh, what is Dee gonna choose today? Cookies and nuts and marshmallows. Dee has gone up to get water, but let's look at her creation. Yeah, they had strawberry and vanilla in one line, chocolate and vanilla in the other line, which we didn't realize that we got up there, but delicious graham crackers sprinkles cookie crumbs i got some bonus cookies of course oh yeah we're gonna head out to the aft pool deck area again now a little wet a little rainy yeah there are a few drops coming out of the sky we're gonna see if we can get a little bit of shelter man nobody's out here <laughs> well okay there's one person out here and here's where they keep their knees so we can see down to the old berth four area. I think the princess ship has departed. <gasps> Jellyfish donuts and all that down that way. Dee has located a table here under some cover where we can sit and enjoy the scenery. See, look at all that cover we've got now. Just look at all these snow covered mountains mixed in with green forests. Yeah. Let's get our zoom on and just chill. They've got light music playing in the background. I don't know what it is. It kind of sounds like Justin Bieber, but <laughs> I can't tell. Y'all, I got the country right, but I got the artist wrong. Um, yeah, so sorry, Justin Bieber. Apparently you sounded like Shania today. And they have all the towels and blankets that you could possibly want out here, so that's nice. Just grab and go at your leisure and return, I guess, just honor system. Don't steal the blankets or steal the towels, okay? <laughs> yeah, I think we are going to have a wander inside. Get out of the rain a little bit. Head back to the cabine. Good, Good evening. evening. We are so fresh and so clean now. And still casual. <laughs> but we need to talk about you and that salt water you swam in today. Yeah. So I've known for a while that you could snorkel in Alaska. Mm. Haven't done it up until now. What was I waiting on? Really? No, it was amazing. So I would say the biggest struggle is probably putting the wetsuit on. <laughs> It's a bit of a like putting on pantyhose or a girdle or spanks. What or are those like things? That if you're no. used to doing that, but like times ten, and it weighs quite a bit. Um, after that, though, it's easy. Now they do recommend that you don't do it if you have any sort of heart conditions, mm. like typical like fainting spells, things like that. If you're over the age of sixty-five, or okay. if you're just not in like general good health, because it is very strenuous. It can be. It depends on like you know how the currents are and things like that. But everybody's biggest question is probably, was it cold? Mm, that's my question. <laughs> For me, no. And I'll say, if you put the wetsuit on correctly, because it is a wetsuit, not a dry suit, mm. and the rubber pieces touch your skin and like really seal things in and everything gets tucked where it's supposed to, you should not have to worry about it. When you first get in the water, the suit fills up with some water, but that's what keeps your core warm. 
Um, the only thing that was a little bit chilly were like my cheeks because that was the only thing really exposed. exposed to the water. And sometimes if I would turn my head like a little bit, it would come in like the hood a little bit. That's it. I was fine. Like I wasn't cold. I could have stayed in the water for hours That's and hours. That's impressive. And then what you see was amazing. We've been to the Alaska Sea Life Center in mm -hmm. Seward yep. and got to see like the touch tanks with all the colorful starfish and sea cucumbers and crabs and stuff. That's all there in person and it's amazing. Lots of different varieties of fish. Didn't see any like major whales or anything like that. Wasn't expecting to. Apparently you can sometimes. <laughs> um, the only other hard part is probably walking down to the water, mm. depending on how the tide is, how high it is. There's lots of rocks and so you do have to be pretty able-bodied to do it. So it was amazing. I would 1000% do it again. Oh, it was so good. Yes. It took us this long to get you in that water. <laughs> Hopefully I, I like gave you all the pointers that you needed, but yeah. And I didn't show putting the wetsuit on because there's a ladies dressing, oh, room, yeah. dressing room and a guy's and like, you know, there's a lot of like people there. So. This ain't that kind of channel. Well, no, I mean, you wear a swimsuit underneath it. Oh, oh, you need an extra pair of socks because you do wear socks with your booties and like a change of clothes and bring a towel. Mm. And then you had something to point out. Oh, I was just going to say that when we booked <laughs> this, we found out that, uh, or at least, you know, the, uh, told us that if we were to call and give a credit card directly rather than booking it online, which I'm going to put the link in the description, mm -hmm. that you can actually save some of the booking fees. So you'll save a little bit of bucks if you call and give the credit yeah. card um, information that way. So That's a good tip. that was our little money saving tip for that tour. And plus, I got to go as a free ride along because I did not go in the water, which was great. <laughs> So yeah, if you want more family to come, that's probably not an issue. They'll just be hanging out on the shore, but you saw all sorts of sea life up I there. did. I think I looked at that closer yeah. at that picture and it was at least four or five different purple sea stars underneath that rock. So. It's really cool. Nice. Now, it's dinner time. So hungry. Um, we are keeping it cash tonight, yeah. so we're just going to go buffet it up mm -hmm. and see where the evening takes us. I know as we leave Ketchikan, we're going to be heading north, eventually going through Snow Passage, which is one of our favorite yeah. nature viewing spots. We're not going to be there till like 10 p.m., according to the captain. No, but they're opening the bow for nature spotting from 7.30 to 9.30, so we'll probably do some of that. It must be pre-Snow's Passage. Yeah. But anyway, let's wander, food, come on. Let's go. Ooh, that's the secret Canaletto section right there, the Upcharge restaurant, which we might be bringing you more information on soon. Hint, hint. Here looks like some people eating some food. D has returned with a salad laden with shrimp. Wow, okay. Here you got some steak, potatoes, and vegetables. I made a little stop by the bread station to find some interesting looking breads as well as some chilled grilled vegetables. And then my journey took me to find some chicken korma, some Vietnamese lamb, and some bendy masala. Woohoo! Let's jump out on deck three. Woohoo! Well, they have got some chairs set up today. We have not really seen those set up out here too much. We figured rather than jumping up to the windy open bow, we'll just come down here to three, one of our favorite nature spotting zones, and see what we can see. And actually right now I see a ship getting ready to go past. That would be the Silver Muse by Silver Sea. Fancy. Well, we've located where they keep their D's out here on the promenade deck while we look for nature and other things for the next couple of hours. <laughs> yeah. Should be in a pretty good zone, I would hope. It's nice. Ah, 7 o'clock p.m. They have come to clear the cushions and clear the chairs. So we're just going to get our stand on here by the rail and keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> well, they got the blankets out. I guess we can just bench it up if we're looking for a place to perch. We have a spied distant whale poofs over there by the land. They're going to be so tiny on this camera. Let's see if we can even see them. I just saw a little, that was even hard to see with my eyes right there. That was definitely a poof. Yeah, I think I saw three or four puffle puffs. And then I don't see any more now. Here comes the rain again. Okay, I think we are going to dip inside, find a little warmth, a little shelter. Sounds like a plan. Thank you, baby. Tuesday. Ooh, I need some warm, touching warm. Oh, no, I did not. You did. 
And now we make a mocha. We got coffee with a little bit of cream, little Swiss Miss packet. Perfect. Let's do it. Ah, that was good. <laughs> and warmer. Now it's time to grab some fruity snacks for the cabin. Ooh, we live on the same deck as the Neptune Lounge. Yeah. We don't get to go in there, but at least we can sniff it as we walk by. I feel like we've lived on the same deck. That's we have. Neptune Lounge on the last few cruises. It just works out like that. That's weird. Guarantee cabin. Room. We've come back to the cabin to find a replacement towel because of Snorkel D. Oh, we're going to America's oldest city, and we got us some milk chocolate Lindors. Good, Good night. night. It is cat bin time. Yeah. Don't really have many updates other than we saw one whale. One whale. And some sticks and a few birds. <laughs> and it got sure. colder and colder. Mm. I think it's like in the low 50s, but the wind chill makes it pretty, it pretty might chilly. It be 49 and a half out there. It could there. be. <laughs> um, and then dinner. Dinner at the buffet was pretty good. I really enjoyed my sort of visit to Asia. All of those flavors were delicious. The steak was okay needed some seasoning the salad was amazing i made it myself you know mm -hmm. um veggies were good lots of you know really nice fresh options so yeah enjoyed it this is true now we got fruit snacks for the cabin yes. Ooh, so bedtime and we will see you tomorrow from sitka see you then bye bye <laughs>